Greetings and welcome back to day two and 303. I'm now speaking with the uh, senior AP group. However, what I'm going to be doing is going through the, uh, the kind of logistics of what it is that we're setting up as we get ready for next week, Monday's work. Uh, if you are watching this video because you missed on uh, uh, Friday, August 18th, uh, and you are in another class other than AP, you'll understand that some of what I'm going through is not germane to you. For example, when I'm filling out test sheets and the like, uh, other information will be very germane to you. So make sure you pay attention when I'm talking specific AP stuff to a group of first hour seniors as opposed to maybe a junior student or a senior student of another class. All right, the first thing I want to say, and it's all on my whiteboard, and uh, right away, we should have now taken care of all of your text information and everything is uh, written down on your Omega file. The first thing I want to do is to just review a couple of rules that I don't know that I went over with everybody yesterday. One quick rule, and it's on my whiteboard, is uh, first of all, we want to make sure, and, and let me just pause for a moment and point this out. The first thing you always want to do when you come into 303 at the beginning of a class always scan my whiteboard just to get a sense of what it is that we are going to be doing for the day. Granted, my handwriting is nigh illegible and you will probably ruin your eyes trying to grow accustomed to reading my handwriting. I can only promise you it will get worse as the year goes on, not better. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Uh, so check the whiteboard and you can see uh, my, I have a prodigious list there that I'm going to try to cover now in the next 45 minutes. I'll, I'll do my best to get through it all, all right? The first thing I want to point out is uh, uh, to make sure that we are, here again, just reviewing some rules here, um, the, the idea of monkey mind. We, uh, we mentioned this in one of our early lectures in the introductory uh, comments about uh, 303. And the idea is that we imagine our mind as a monkey locked in an iron cage with a fire burning underneath it. Of course, every time the poor monkey touches the iron cage, it starts jerking around all over the place and squealing. Then in come bees or hornets to sting the poor monkey. And then, of course, darkness. So this poor monkey trapped in this cage screaming and jumping all around. Of course, we use this word picture to suggest this is our mind, often. And uh, we're going to witness it, possibly even in this presentation, where it's going to be very normal for us to turn maybe to our colleagues and, and all that kind of stuff, as opposed to making sure that we're really focusing. So I'm really going to challenge you this hour. Have out a blank sheet of paper or two in front of you. Have out your day planner in front of you. Have out your course outline in front of you. Have out the uh, other information, the paraphernalia of yesterday's day one packet. Kind of have it available to you. If you haven't set up your notebook yet, then that means you're probably going to have papers all over the place. If you've already set up your notebook, then you know all the papers that we were working Working with yesterday will be for you in the master schedule section of your notebook. We'll get to that in a bit. So that way you're as organized as you can be so that as I'm working through this intelligence with you, you can pay attention enough and focused enough to know exactly what's going on. Much of today is going to be given to outlining the deadlines that are coming August 2-5 Friday, a week from today. Some of today will be outlining the work that we will begin to do as early as Monday, okay? In our annotative work, especially the kind of reading and that kind of thing that we'll be doing, all right? So that's, that's a significant one for us. Um, the, the, uh, the next one that I want to point out really quickly is this idea of, just to remind, hand up, hand down. If, uh, if while I'm going through this information or any information the time you're with me, if I lose you and the choo-choo train has left the train station, I think we might have said it that way yesterday, uh, and you're not on the train, then hand up, hand down. I won't call on you. I will just simply know that's code language for you need to back up and you need to start over from where you were before. And that way I'm not so lost as to exactly what's going on. Also, you can always, of course, ask questions here at the conclusion of our session it, uh, it, You know, if you're not exactly sure. Or you can always text room captain and she can respond or he can respond to the questions. All right? So let's talk now really quickly about Room Captain. I think we've already named Room Captain in this group. We'll be doing that in my ensuing classes as well. Contact information is significant. If you have a question, that's the place you go first before you come to McGee. If the Room Captain can't answer, then obviously either the Room Captain or you can uh, you know, address concerns with me, especially if these are logistic concerns like what's due and when and you know, those kinds of things, all right? 
Uh, I would say, by the way, to room captain, that if any student is absent today, you can let the student know that our presentation is videotaped here, and therefore you're able to watch it online. I'll just post it on the home page directly as the day two information or something like that. I would also say, because this is being recorded, that you also can go back and review if for some reason you didn't quite hear or can't remember what I said, all right? You have had your transcripts handed out to you by room captain or, or me, and that information will help you on your senior survey. I'd like you to put that away now and don't be working on your senior survey now. Classic example of what I mean by monkey mind. If you start messing around with that kind of stuff, and then you'll miss some of the other stuff that I'm outlining. But I would recommend that you three-hole punch that. You put it in the master schedule section of a notebook. It's useful to have that. As seniors go through the process of college matriculation, you'll have some of those questions that are going to be answered on that transcript, and then you've got them there available for you. Okay, okay the first thing that I want to do, and that's the end of now just the introductory materials, what I want to do now is I want to go to the information of yesterday, and I want to look at specifically two documents that we were working with from the day one packet. One of those documents is the test sheet that we pulled out of that packet. The test sheet looks like this. It of course has at the very top of it the exam summary totals sheet. That's what we mean by test sheet. Okay, you need to put your name there. Under exam number, you need to please put MS master schedule backslash 303. MS master schedule backslash 303. And by the way, if you don't have the information of yesterday, then I would say just get up and grab another day one packet from the looser pen at the back and then go ahead and fill this out because we're going to be using this document right now to fill this out. So you definitely want to have right now in front of you this document and you want to be working with this document with me right now. So if you don't have it, just go grab one from the back of the room, all right, and then just extract what you need. You're going to need that document. And you're going to also need the master schedule checkoff list document. So you need both of those. That document plus the master schedule checkoff list. All right. And then we want to staple those two. And Mr. Tickner, since you're up, why don't you acquire those staplers and then just address the, the tables. Uh, we want to staple those two together with the test sheet in front. With the test sheet in front. So it's going to look just like that. You're going to have your test sheet followed by the master schedule checkoff sheet, together, stapled. Do you got it? Together, stapled. All right? This will be the way that we will then score your August 2-5 deadline work. All right? Now, just to review, and I'm hoping at this point all of you have watched at least lecture one on the intro lectures to 303 so that you've got some sense about what we mean when we talk about a test sheet. When you take an exam in 303, we always want to make sure we have records. The score of your exam finally will go at the bottom of your test sheet. This is where I put your score. This is a document you then hold on to in the master schedule section of your notebook. That way if there's any debate about the score that appears A in the grade book, B in infinite campus, C on your Omega record sheet, we can always consult this. Why? Because I will always reference everything I'm doing with green ink. You work primarily with blue or black ink. Your grader works primarily with red ink. I work with green ink. So for example, all of the work that you'll be doing on this test sheet right now, you will be writing in blue or black ink. When we get to any kind of potential plus points, that is to say possible additional scores to your exam score, your grader will apply that with red ink. Any work I do on your test sheet is always done in green ink. And of course, the most important green ink on this test sheet will always occur right there at the bottom, where you will see that it says, um, final exam score for the exam after adjustments. That will be where I, I will put your score, that will be in green ink, and it's always circled. Allowing you to know specifically what score you have. That's the score that is, should be going into the infant campus and should be on your Omega record sheet. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and fill this thing out really quickly. At A1, you could put LS for Learn Strong number one flow. At A2, LS, number two flow. These are the lectures, obviously, that are there for you. At A3, LS, number three flow. And at A4, LS, number four flow. 
obviously this is all work that is due specifically on Friday the 25th. However, I will begin to give plus points to you as we get ready to go forward into next week if you can get some of that work done early. Does that make sense? Okay. Now on Friday, you're going to have to take the 25th. You're going to have to take a little, I think it's 50 question multiple choice test. We'll get to that talk about that in a bit. But obviously any kind of Scantron score that we would take, you would want to have some kind of additional points that can help you get to a 100. In 303, the highest score you can ever get on an exam is 100. We don't ever allow for additional points to take us in the gradebook beyond 100. Oh, that we would have the problem every time we take an exam of having a bunch of additional points that get us past the 100 score. Doesn't always happen. However, having additional points can help us. At A5, back to filling out the master schedule test sheet. At A5, student survey. A6, typed goals. A7, this one is your rules sheet signed. A8, this one is your plagiarism sheet signed. A9, this is your parent view of LearnStrong videos. And A10, this is the 303 study guide. Okay, any repeats? One through ten? Yeah. Eight was plagiarism sheet signed. Anybody else? Ten. Ten was the 303 study guide. Now some of this obviously, this is some of the work, I'm, as, as my whiteboard says, at number eight, I'll be going through in a moment here. At the very bottom of this sheet, I hope that you will see, it says rewrite topic for NF score. NF here of course meaning no fail. Now what that means is, any time in 303, if you take a Scantron score and you score below a 60, we do something, some kind of additional work to be able to get to a score of 60 in the gradebook. That's what we mean by a no-fail policy. Assuming attendance in 303, I guarantee that you pass every time we give a score in Infinite Campus. There's always an affiliated no-fail component. Let's go ahead, we write this down, even if you are certain you will not be using the no-fail option because your Scantron score will be 60 or higher, we still always write it down because sometimes, as they say, the best laid plans of, oh yeah, mice and men. We'll get to, we'll get to Burns later. Um, uh, the NF is all I need on Friday the 25th of August, if you are going to NF the score of Master Schedule in a gradebook, that is to say you're just going to get a 60, I need Master Schedule Part 1, that is to say the deadlines from the course outline in the day planner. I need at least handwritten goals in the three areas of reading, writing, and organization. And I need your supplies at least to be your notebook with some paper and at least a blue or black ink pen. All right? Those are minimal requirements for you on the first school. All right? Okay, I think I've done one, two, three, and four on my whiteboard. I'm now ready to move to number five. Now, this is going to be a little confusing until the end of August 2-5, and here's why. We will be working next week with two different test sheets. That will make sense if you think about at all what you've seen on my course outline. Because next week, Monday, we already are beginning with annotative work as we prepare for exam number one. Our master schedule deadline exam of August 2-3, we do not call exam number one. We just simply call it MS or master schedule exam. Okay? So we are now about to fill out a test sheet for exam number one. And so you're going to want to get up, go to the back of the room, grab a new test sheet, and hurry back, and then we're going to be ready to fill that out here. Now because this, uh, th these test sheets are an important part of our record keeping. We want to be sure that we fill them out with our name, 
and the date and what the exam is. For us in AP English, and again, if you are watching this video from another class, you want to continue to pay attention because I'm going to say some things about plus points for the master schedule exam on the 25th. But anything I'm saying right now about the curriculum, this is AP curriculum from first hour, so please ignore if you're watching this on, on uh, online. This is exam number one for AP. April the 29th is when we take it. I'm sorry, August the 29th. I'm ahead of myself, I apologize. We'll get to April. A1, write down, and you can abbreviate, and I recommend that you do so, right, instead of writing everything out. But A1 is the Hamilton Mythology, parts one and two. A2 is Learn Strong, Western Thought, A and B. And what this means is you go to the Learn Strong site, learnstrong.net, you watch the uh, introductory lecture again, Western Thought, A and B. A3, this is your notes over Hamilton Part 4. A4, this is Learn Strong in the AP folder, Troy Tail. In the AP folder, Troy Tail. Okay, T A L E. By the way, in here in AP, we have to make a distinction between there are two folders at Learn Strong. There's an AP folder in the left side, and then there's a Senior A and a Senior B folder. Sometimes we'll be in the AP folder. Sometimes we'll be in the Senior A folder. Sometimes we'll be in the Senior B folder. And so I tried to designate for you so you can find the lectures. A5, this is your notes over Iliad, books 1 through 10. A6, Learn Strong. AP, Iliad, Parts 1 and 2. A7, Iliad, Books 11 through 15. A8, Iliad, Books 16 through 24. Okay. Now, this is your test sheet, and so it will reside in your Omega file. But what some students will do is they just simply take out their phone and they take a picture of their test sheet so that that way they have a kind of record of what it is that's due. Now, what did I just write down, Mr. McGee, on A1 through A8? Those are the pieces of information that you will be tested over on August 2-9. Does that make sense? So if you need to know, what am I being tested over for August 2-9, right there it is. The questions on the test will come from, the, from that reading and that annotative work. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, wait a minute. What about, um, like, like, I'm doing all these annotations. So, like, when do I hand those in for grades? That's what we call the reading, writing, assessment packet. Once a week, you will hand in your notes. Once a week, you will hand in a piece of writing to Mr. McGee. And that will constitute a single score in the grade book for you. This here we're speaking of now is the exam. Okay, so we're talking about the exam of August 2-9. Now that is a Scantron instrument and, of course, demanding. So we always are trying to look for some potential additional plus points. Look down at B, section B of this, of this sheet. We have some plus points. Let's fill it out. Now, I'm going to go through Master Schedule Review. I normally do that just on Wednesdays, but I'm going to do that here in a bit with your day planner just to amplify what the course outline says so you know what some of this is. But let's go through it now. At B1, you want to write down MC for multiple choice. MC questions Iliad 1 through 10. At B2, MC questions Iliad 11 through 15. And at B3, MC questions Iliad 16 through 24. Okay, so you can kind of see what we've done. At, at B1, it's a 1 through 10. At B2, it's 11 through 15. At B3, it's 16 through 24. And I'll explain in a bit what that means, but you, here, here's some potential plus points for you. Okay? Now, <clears throat> sometimes these, pl these plus points are also potentially negative points. So, for example, memorize Shakespeare's Sonnet 116 and recite it before the examination. If you do it, you get plus 14. If you don't get it, you get minus 14 on the Scantron. So sometimes it's a plus minus gig. Other times it's just optional plus points. And we'll let you know that as we go through Master Schedule Review. Okay? Let's jump now to the very bottom in the NF topic. Again, as we say, there's always going to be an NF topic for any of our test sheets. And for this one, it's simply three favorite gods or goddesses and why. 
from Hamilton's study of Hamilton's mythology. Three favorite gods or goddesses and why. Now again, that you do not have to do unless you write below a 60 on the exam number one of August 2-9. If you do, then we have you write that, so that way we can get you up to a score of 60. No more than 60, but a score of 60, allowing you to be sure that you are passing every test, okay? Questions? All right, I'm back on my whiteboard. I've done one, two, three, four, five. Let's now talk at number six really quickly. If you have any signed documentation at all, throw it in your Omega file really quickly, okay? That's where it can stay, all right? And it can just and it can just reside there. <clears throat> we'll have uh, we'll have um, uh, plus points for that kind of stuff next week. I won't be giving it right now. We'll have plus points. Some of you, however, will point out, and you can do this really quickly if you've got that signed documentation. Go ahead and look at your master schedule test sheet really quickly, and you'll see that that, for example, um, rules sheet signed was a seven, wasn't it? Right? So you can actually check off in blue or black ink that that's done for you. Anytime you're keeping records on your test sheet, you do it with blue or black ink. So you can check off that that's done for you. However, we won't give plus points until next week. And when we do, the plus points will be given either in red ink by a grader or in green ink by me. And sometimes that's the way we do it. I just stand here at the podium and I say, if you've got your, your rule sheet done, come up real quickly, bring your test sheet with you. You hand me your test sheet, you show me it's signed, I give you some points. Good idea, good idea. I would recommend any time the loony gives you the option of, of points, take the option, right, always. Because you want to be preparing, obviously, for, you know, what do they say, hope for the best, plan for the worst kind of thing on these exams. So you always want to kind of assume that maybe your Scantron scores won't be so good, and you want to have some additional points to help you out, okay?